Hello, good evening. As you know, I am out of the parish during doing a course for priests at the north of Madrid. I want to share with you some thoughts about this Sunday Gospel. After listening this morning to the Gospel and the Bible readings from the Old and New Testament, we can easily attribute to today's homily the title protocol. What is the principal meaning of the term protocol? Literally translated, protocol is a system of rules that explain the correct conduct and procedures to be followed in normal informal situations. Basically, they are human traditions relating to social etiquette. In social events, there is often a protocol that we are called to follow. For example, at a dinner, women are requested to wear long evening gowns and men black tie. Certain behavior is expected at the dinner table, including the use of the correct cutlery for each course of the meal provided. In Spain, if you are attending a wedding, Certain measures of protocol are called, for example, the godmother has to dress de mantilla and peineta and is expected to walk with her son down the aisle while promoting a feeling of wedding joy and harmony. When we come to church to praise God and take part in the Holy Mass, a certain level of protocol is always followed. In England, I know you have the expression, dress in your Sunday best. Of course, this is because on Sunday, as many people still do today, it was customary even for the poorest of poor to attend church well presented in their smartest clothes and with their hair count lately having showered and brushed their teeth with vigor. Today we are faced with one of the most important questions that we also need to address to ourselves, the question of sincerity of mankind before God, the question of the purity and healthiness of our spiritual hearts. Let us, let each of us ask ourselves, are we coming to church with love, respect, gratitude and trust and complete reliance on the Lord? Or are we coming to church for another reason? For example, are we attending because it is expected of us socially? Do we come to church simply because it is customary to come every Sunday? or we have nothing better to do. In the Old Testament, God gave Moses the Ten Commandments, as in today, the Ten Commandments perfected in Jesus' teaching on the Sermon on the Mount are crucial to our faith and cannot be broken. They are God's law. The Jewish nation at the time of Jesus had a written law known as the Torah, consisting of the five of the first five books of the Old Testament, which consisted of 613 laws. There are also, however, added many rules and rituals not written down in the Torah. These, these were passed down by word to mouth, from generation to generation. In the Gospel today, we see one of these laws about purifying ourselves. This rule was simply a means of customary protocol, a man-made regulation. Jesus and his disciples did not follow this human law and were thus criticized for it by the Pharisees. 
Jesus answered them with a quote from the Old Testament from the prophet Isaiah, complaining that people's worship was only lip service, while their hearts were far from God. Jesus gives a clear answer why he and his disciples don't follow these human rituals but God's law alone. Hear me, all of you, and understand nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but things that come from within are what defile. From within people, from within people, from their hearts come evil thoughts, unchastity, murder, adultery. What matters to Jesus is not eating. What matters to Jesus is not eating with ritually clean hands or eating only kosher food. What is important is that we wash and purify our hearts. When we come to pray and worship God, it is our heart, our hearts he looks at, not how we outwardly dress at or greet other people, for it is our hearts which truly reveal who we are. In sacred scriptures, a scripture, the heart is considered the fountain of expression of our deep, deepest thoughts, words and actions. I will now finish with a few words from Saint Jose Maria Escriba. Get accustomed to entrusting your poor heart to the sweet and immaculate heart of Mary, so that she may purify it from so much dross, many obstacles, and lead it to the most sacred, most merciful heart of Jesus. I wish, I wish you a happy and blessed Sunday and see you soon. Bye. God bless you. Bye bye.